amazing experiences and beautiful memories is what we live to create and working on cruise ships is going to give you the ability to create those and these are memories that i am gonna have with me until i get dementia so. hey sailors welcome back to cruising as crew today we are going to talk about the benefits of working on a cruise ship i'm sorry i'm just realizing in the camera like there's a lot going on here with the magnets and the leopard prints but we're gonna go with it. I hope it's not too distracting. Uh, but if you have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments or you can DM me over on Instagram at Cruising as Crew. But let's get into the video. Number one, travel opportunities. You are gonna go to some incredible places. I always say like the places that I've been to, one, I would never have thought to have gone to half of them. And secondly, I would never have been able to afford to go to the places that I've been. Like I've been, I've been to a few places. Bethlehem. I have been to Bethlehem. The same as Bahrain. Would never have thought to go to Bahrain. It's lovely. So getting paid to go to some amazing places and not having to spend your own money to go to them is a huge plus. Cultural immersion. So interacting with crew members and passengers from every corner of the globe is really going to open your mind and just make you more of a worldly person. You're going to discover new cultures, new ways of doing things, which ultimately makes you a more dynamic and interesting person. Number three, professional development. So it is pretty well known that people who work on cruise ships work really, really hard. I worked in the spa on board cruise ships for two nine month contracts. I then decided that I wanted to have a little bit of time at home. So I applied for a number of spa jobs when I got home and I got every single one of them. So my point is like whatever job you do on board a cruise ship, you are going to improve exponentially at that job, skill, whatever, you know. If you go on board as a chef, by the time you finish your first contract, you're going to be much better. And consequently, when you decide to depart cruise ships, if you do, you are going to find it easier in some cases to get a job on land. So professional developed, I think, is an overlooked but really important benefit of working on board a cruise ship. Tax-free income. Now, of course, this depends on where you are from in the world. For example, I am from the UK, and if you work outside of the UK for more than six months a year, you are exempt from tax. And the fact that Pretty much a minimum contract is six months. You normally have three months off and then go on another contract. It means all of the income that you earn is yours. You don't owe tax on any of it. And speaking of all the money that you earn being yours, free accommodation and meals. So you will stay on board the cruise ship in a cabin that you will not pay for. So this is why working on a cruise ship is a fantastic way to save money because you're not paying tax. You're not paying rent or anything for accommodation. You're also not paying for food and many other things. Health and wellness benefits. So when you work on a cruise ship, every cruise ship has to have a crew gym. And depending on what job you do on board, you might have the privilege to be able to use the passenger gym if it's not too busy. And no, you do not have to pay a membership to use either the guest gym or the crew gym. So you get free access to exercise equipment. And usually if you have got a really good crew engagement team on board, they will do things like yoga, meditation classes, and they will just try and promote crew wellness because like over the past five years, there's been a real drive to put more focus on the wellness of crew members on board. Networking opportunities. So you are going to be working with a large array of people different backgrounds, different cultures, different languages. It's a melting pot of diversity. And the beautiful thing about cruise ships is every job is needed on board. So, you know, if you were a chef in a pub on land, you would only interact with other chefs and waitresses and restaurant managers because that's the environment you are in. Whereas when you are a chef on board a cruise ship, you can interact with dancers, actors, florists, Yes, of course, other chefs, but housekeepers, people with loads of different interests. So it's a really beautiful way to make friends with people that you just wouldn't have the opportunity to in a normal environment. And also it gives you holiday homes everywhere, which is really nice. Like after working on cruise ships for a few years, you can pretty much go anywhere in the world and you're going to know someone, which 
How amazing is that? Language skills and development. So if English is not your first language, you are going to become fluent in English. Your English skills are going to improve exponentially. But also because you are surrounded by loads of people who speak different languages than are multilingual, it makes you want to learn a second language or a third language or a fourth language. And also there's loads of people that you can practice with. Like when I was learning Spanish, I worked with loads of people who were from Colombia and Mexico. So I had loads of people to practice with. So it's a really, really good environment to either, I mean, practice your English, but also any other language you want to learn. You are gonna be part of a team. It doesn't matter what department you are in. 99% of departments on a cruise ship. There'll be a, like a minimum of three people in the smallest departments and then you go to housekeeping where there can be 300 people in that department. So teamwork is a huge part of working on a cruise ship and working well with other people. So if this isn't a skill that you believe you've got under your belt, this is something you're definitely going to get good at when you work on board a cruise ship. Adventure and excitement. So working on a cruise ship is the most exciting environment that you can possibly work in. I mean, what other job are you in a new destination every day? It's crazy, right? So you're in a new place every day. People are coming and going all the time, meaning crew members are starting their contracts and finishing their contracts every week. How, you get new passengers on every week or two so that you're just constantly stimulated. There's just always stuff going on. It's really exciting that you've got the hustle and bustle of everyone working really hard. And it's an adventure. I mean, when you think of an adventure or an adventure film that, you know, you like to watch, it involves meeting new people, discovering things about yourself and discovering new places. And that is exactly what working on a cruise ship is going to give you. So it is absolutely the most exciting adventure ever. Onboard amenities. So we've spoken about the fact that you have like access to the crew gym, but you also have access to the exciting stuff. You know, you might be able to go and see the shows once in a while if you have some time off work. You might be able to use the pool if it's not too busy. Use the spa if you have time off work. You're sometimes allowed to join in in the events that are put on for passengers. You can go to the lectures. So they're really, you know, if you have time off, you will have the ability to use all of the facilities on cruise ships. So you can really kid yourself that you're on a cruise. Career diversity. So as we just spoke about, cruise ships hire people within every industry who do every job on board, you know? So I, for example, I knew a girl on Virgin Voyages and she was in housekeeping, she was from the Philippines, she had been in housekeeping for years, but she made friends with a girl who was the florist on board and she decided to cross train and now she is a florist. And it was something that she just fell in love with, but it was also something that she had never even thought about before. I see that a lot, you know, a lot of people might start their cruise ship career as chefs, but then they transfer to the excursion department. I started my career in the spa and then I transferred over to the shops and then I did jewellery. So it gives you the option to cross over in departments. Now I'm not saying that you can be doing this every, every contract, but you know, just because you start as something doesn't mean that's what you are. Just like the spa for me was just getting my foot in the door because like everything once you have cruise ship experience they're more likely to hire you and especially on a cruise ship because one of the hardest things for recruiters is not necessarily finding people who can do the job it's finding people who can do the job who will also enjoy ship life because as we spoke about there's a lot to contend with you might have someone who's fantastic for the job but they're a homebody they're not gonna enjoy living on a ship being miles away from their families. So if you've done a contract before and you can go into your interview and say, no, I've done this before, I know that I enjoy living on a ship. Well, that's half the battle completed. Tick, tick, tick. Now we just need to train you up to do the job. And there aren't many jobs that you can't train someone to do. Personal growth. So I spoke about this in a video I did not too long ago, but Again, it's an adventure. You're gonna learn so much about yourself. You're gonna learn to rely on yourself. You're gonna learn what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy. You're gonna learn about other people and how that affects you. And it's just such a fantastic opportunity for self-discovery because 
possibly for the first time in your life, you're not going to have your friends and family around to rely on. Yes, you are gonna make new friends who are gonna become like family, but it's not the same. You are gonna have times where it's difficult because personal growth always is difficult, but in the long run, it is going to better you and just better your life overall. It's going to make you more interesting because working on cruise ships isn't something that people hear every day. And ultimately, what's interesting is uncommon, you know? If someone tells me they're an accountant or they work in a supermarket, the reason that isn't interesting, and this is, I'm, not, I'm really not trying to shit on people who work in a supermarket who, or who are an accountant, but you know what I mean. Like, the reason that's not particularly interesting is because there's a lot of people who do it. Whereas people who are air hostesses or work on a cruise ship, or maybe they work in like a remote part of the world, it's interesting because you don't come across it every day. So when you interact with people back home who don't work on cruise ships, they find it really interesting. And doesn't everyone want to be that 80 year old grandmother telling their grandchild just one of the incredible experiences that she's had in her lifetime? And that's what it gives you. It gives you the ability to become interesting. It's difficult to have the self motivation or even the money to be able to do these things on your own. This is almost like a free pass to becoming interesting. I don't know how to explain it. I'm gonna to have to think about this more because I actually think I should maybe do a video on just that, like becoming interesting. But anyway, and then lifelong memories and friendships. So as I said, so some of my best friends, or a lot of my best friends actually are people who I met on cruise ships. And although I may not have seen them in three or four years, we talk all the time. And I'm just so lucky to have met such a amazing selection of people. And the memories I've had, you know, and this is why I really like collecting magnets because every time I look at one of these magnets, I remember what I was doing that day, where I got the magnet from, who I was with. And it's just like a tangible, almost portal that can take me back to that day. And these are memories that I am going to have with me until I get dementia. <laughs> so, no, hopefully not. You know, amazing experiences and beautiful memories is what we live to create. And working on cruise ships is going to give you the ability to create those. Okay, guys, so those are just some of the benefits of working on board a cruise ship. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please press the like button because it really helps me out. And if you have any video suggestions or you want me to make the video on being more interesting, let me know in the comments and, or you can DM me over on Instagram at cruising with crew. But thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.